Have you ever wondered, can you communicate directly with spirit guides, teachers, or non-physical consciousness, or even our higher selves? What would they tell us? My name is Kevin Moore, and since 2015, I started to practice a form of communication which is termed channeling. I have been interviewing experts on my talk show to find out, does life continue after we die? And can we communicate with those that have crossed over? With each expert I spoke to, they all had different ideas. Is there knowledge from the past which could be shared with the present moment? So I thought, why not just speak to the non-physical world directly through channelers around the world? And that's what I set out to do. They call us channelers will take the viewers on a journey into the phenomena known as channeling. And my main goal with this docu-series is to bring a new understanding and awareness to channeling by looking within ourselves and asking, is it truly possible that we can all use this innate ability? Mr. Riser, welcome to the show. Thank you. I, what, what is this called? This has got a name, this canyon probably, hasn't it? This is the Isis temple where you see those two pillars. And some people who have interdimensional sight will see arcs and palace looking structures, perhaps fifth dimensionally. I said this to Ra, your partner, there's a, there's a major energy about this place. Um, Sedona, I feel like I've come here, right? And I, I feel healed in, in a few ways right now. And I, I never came here for that. I never expected it to do that. Yeah, you seem pretty surprised about how, how you responded to just an earthly location without too many uh, sources of entertainment, distractions, or people offering you healing and do this way and that way you just you just arrived and yeah. and felt differently so it's kind of magical do, do you find that with friends that you have come here do, do, do they go through some shifts sometimes oh yeah they cry their physical body starts feeling better they realize they're not in the best shape as they thought in their minds some are uh, completely in their thoughts analytical brain and so they'll step on a cactus and go oh my goodness one guy broke his ankle so it really has you grounded and in presence oh my god it absolutely does when you first came here to uh, you and Ra was Ra already living here your partner yes so mm -hmm. you moved here to join him yes did you know what you were letting yourself in for in the sense of the energy <laughs> of this place <laughs> <laughs> not really no I'd heard about this place through Crimson Circle, Jeff Hoppy, who channels Adamus St. Germain. And it was so strange. I was in college in Finland and never thought Sedona was anything except the, the spot where this guy channels this, this other guy. And I thought, I need to go there. But I didn't. I'd never been to the Crimson Circle uh, group, unfortunately. And I found there are a lot of channelers and esoteric people who come visit here kind of like a pilgrimage, but I, I, I stayed, and it's great living here. It feels like a future community. It really does. I mean, I feel very at peace here. I can't say it's like any other place I've been to in the U.S. because it's not. It really isn't. It's so different. Um, it's almost like it, does, it doesn't even feel like it's, you know, whatever day it is right now when <laughs> we're filming this. <laughs> right. Some people lose track. Sometimes people lose track of the days. Yeah. Totally. That's they normal. Do. Yeah. Time yeah. goes by faster or... But you found, mm. you found your roots here. You found that this is home for you right now. Yes. This is a place where it's okay to have had a UFO sighting. It's okay to be interested in alternative healing. And people also support it. So even if you're someone who's just kind of messing around, experimenting, people support that. And 
it's also a place where you have to feel yourself mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um <laughs> but there's a lot going on energetically too as far as extraterrestrial energies native american spirits fairies uh and scientists are loving the the anomalies here you have zero background radiation vortices free energy be below the surface 300 feet down over a layer of hematite that that's an interesting source of energy that maybe a psychic would pick up on and not always have the language for if you didn't look in the on the website where they measure the schumann resonance which has not changed at least in sedona it hasn't <laughs> Well, what I, what I wanted to say to you as well, so, so how did this journey start off for yourself? What, 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 what is it that, let me ask that again. So how did you start off on your journey of channeling? I mean, just, just remind us of that as well. I was in the parking lot of Whole Foods when I started channeling. Obviously, the journey started long before that in childhood. But the conscious, physical exchange of energy that started happening to me at Whole Foods parking lot was in 2011 and I've gotten better at channeling which means what esoteric people call the stream Hindus know as the Antakarana which is also the rainbow bridge which is a spot at the back of your head for telepathy and I didn't know that at the time when this started moving here so when you're doing Reiki for example you can feel the current and the speed of how the free the frequency of these energy waves what are those even called i believe the orion council has some answers but it does take it does take a lot of studying for the vessel to have the vocabulary to describe complicated ideas uh, so i'm relieved when the channeled messages are more simple and useful and practical absolutely absolutely so so is the orion council the main group that you channel yes and they are from Beetlejuice Orion constellation. And how far is that from, from here? <laughs> this is kind of far away. <laughs> I mean, unless you have a spacecraft, it won't be too far. But it's in the Milky Way galaxy, so we s we can see it every night. It's the bright bright brightest star in Orion. What what is your connection to them? I haven't figured that one out. I don't I don't recall any past lifetimes in Orion. But what I have found out is a personal connection to a Myra planet. It's coming through the channels. Every now and then, after being of service to lots of people, I get some information for myself, which is great. And I kept looking up Myra. And Myra can mean a dwarf star. It can mean a whole bunch of things. But I found a resonance with the constellation of Procyon. And if we've reincarnated, then we've certainly reincarnated on other planets. Uh, but the connection I have between a Myra planet is that is one in Procyon where they have amphibious beings. So thanks to other researchers and channels, they've found amphibious humanoids in Procyon. And my psychic friends, without uh, me knowing it ahead of time, have said independently of one another they see amphibious humanoids around so there's a lot there's a lot going around there's there's green healing energy there's uh, some say 12 dimensionality the ryan councils mentioned golden light they say it's spiritual wisdom uh it's because when you open up you will open up to ancestral lineage earth spirits and your own higher self your own subconscious mind is opening so a lot of possibilities take place but the connection with them is they've said is a, a mutual agreement so they're they're learning just as we're learning from their transmissions and their main interest is ascension uh, which has to do with an individual building their light body so that they could become an ascended master an ascended master has special gifts but they're here to be of service so once you achieve this level of enlightenment which is a physical experience you have the option of leaving your physical vessel and going to the spirit world back home or you can you can remain here and some people will see them as golden or maybe they're in disguise i don't really know how they roll but uh that's the point of individual ascension and with Orion council they're talking about a planetary ascension and with cosmology we're moving towards this galactic center palladian channelers explain it as the photonic belt 
uh, which is just more light particles, really, that's what photons are. And they actually emanate out of black holes, so the information from Orion Council has to do with uh, the center of the black hole, which is a nine-dimensionality, Mayan timekeeping principle, zero point centering. Anyway, long story short, uh, there's more light here in consciousness, so they're helping us understand that process because many planets in our uh, local galaxy have ascended, especially with Pleiadians, and that means, well, it means that we have a lot of spiritual work to do, but there's no pressure because they understand the trouble we have just being here. Yes, absolutely, and and, and you, you give readings to a number of people now as well. Mm-hmm. And over a thousand. Over I've a thousand given. people. Oh my God! And have you have you noticed a difference in the readings recently, where it's you know less channeling and probably more? Uh, well, th- there's some psychic work in there as well. Yes. Thanks for asking that question. I I notice lots of patterns with the people who come to me. They have similar issues, as with most healers. You'll notice. Uh, recently, a lot of the people who have a cosmic awareness are interested in developing universal awareness, which is great. Um, so it's beyond the planetary, you know, religions that we've experienced for so long. There's a little bit more than those basic ideas. And (laughs) the people are very much into crystals, specifically Lemurian seed quartz, which has little lines on them. And, uh, um, I forget what it's called, but the ones that are situated on the, on the side of it, phantom, phantom, I think. And if, if if they really are from Lemuria, then the people finding these crystals must have connection to ancient Lemuria. And uh, we are currently on Atlantean soil because the energies of America are pretty advanced spiritually. There's a lot of potential here. Uh, so there's also a lot of chaotic energies. People don't know how to use their magic, but the Lemurians were more earth, earthly and uh, honored divine feminine energy and the female <laughs> it's just in this basic sense of what it means uh, and so this is returning as uh, as are the uh, Native American prophecies of the spirit returning who were slaughtered and and this this place here has a lot of Native American wisdom and spirits walking around Absolutely. so we'll see we'll see more uh, feminine intuition gifts women's empowerment, yeah. uh, Native American tribal cultures re-emerging for sure, I feel. Well, you've been to uh, Hawaii, you've been to the Big Island, mm-hmm. or the Big Island, and you've also been to the other islands as well. And you said to me that you felt that, you know, it, there was definitely something different about that island. You felt that, that maybe it was, it could have been part of Atlantis, it could have uh, had that energy of what, yeah. what, what was at one point. Yeah, so there's this uh, ley line, this 111 ley line that's connected between Hawaii and Sedona. Big Island feels, it feels, it's a big island, so it feels different on the south side uh, compared to the north. But most of the islands are like this, they're pretty intense for an individual's healing. I mean, obviously there's going to be tons of negative, negatively ionically charged uh, air, <laughs> air, air molecules around the ocean, so it's very healthy. And the vegetation is great. Um, people, are, people are happier in this sort of climate. But when it comes to Atlantis or Lemuria, they say that this is the tip of some sunken islands. And, and and obviously obviously there's a landmass you know over over the, the great ocean so just as they're discovering all these little temples off the coast of Egypt and diving for treasure I'm pretty sure they'll find something around Hawaii well we will channel in a moment we will get into channeling most definitely um, how's the gift? How's this gift that you've got helped to change you? Do you think? How how has this this ability you've got helped to? Because um, obviously you've gone through some major changes over the past couple of years. Oh, I've learned to I've learned to center myself at these events, these UFO c- congresses where it's acceptable to do this work. I've learned how how to get in touch with the core energy and this is also called the Hara dimension so uh, 
it's all the same thing whether you're aligning your chakras imagining a gold a golden or white light beam to you know handle yourself with anxiety <laughs> it's surely helped me there uh, but yeah the the centering exercise feels very peaceful and uh, the the energies from the extraterrestrials remind me constantly uh, to to be just uh, be this peace ambassador because uh, if the time of war is is ending with the golden age emerging then what is there is peace uh. yeah so true do, do, do you do you feel that we're in a in a golden age of that, that this is a special time right now do you feel that yes we, it, it's it's only just started we've only just come out of witch hunts and and enslaving blacks and uh, slaughtering each other <laughs> with nukes 1940s splitting the atom so there's a lot of work to be done since the that kind of misuse on the planet yeah you know mm. my, my channeling always says to me you know there's a great change coming and you've not seen nothing yet nothing yeah so you know is that a negative thing or is that a very positive thing it could be a very positive thing yeah. yeah, I mean, if you think of discovering the Kepler system with all the new planets, it's exciting. I don't know what's on there. I mean, maybe they, the Illuminati does. May they rest rest in peace. <laughs> Just kidding. But but do you think though that you know obviously obviously you're you know you're an ET channeler in a sense I mean that's yeah. just human words for it yeah but do do you, do you think we want to look too much up there for for solutions and not enough in here in the heart? Oh, uh, there's there's a there's that is likely for some of us. Yeah, it's not easy always to keep your feet on the ground. It's also not so desirable when you tune into the multi-dimensional world. It's that that's also quite an issue when it comes to spiritual channelings. Is uh, we're uh, everything isn't revealed to us because they know that we would eject the body so if we haven't mastered all our earthly lessons and become ascended masters we're just gonna we're just gonna reincarnate again and do it, and that's okay too yeah yeah when you said the multi-dimensional stuff there do, do, you, do you when you give readings for people does it go into the multi-dimensional yeah, reality it does but with the star people it's been more grounding I was wondering at this Congress recently why is this information about your love life and why are we talking about your physical body and um and you know getting in tune with different <laughs> areas of yourself this is supposed to be a professional et e message but it could be that this is what's needed at the time and and some people are really struggling with d d divorce um open relationships uh their their pets transitioning they're really heartbroken people are lonely uh, with their with their niche and and so we have to solve these issues too so it's it's a lot of responsibilities and uh when great things are handed to us a lot of this a lot is expected of us as well yeah yeah where would you like to see your work going as well in the future because obviously i think a lot of people come to see readings for you as well where it involves sex and it involves you know relationships or it, maybe they're working in an area that's a bit taboo and stuff like that and you seem to be the right go-to person for that people feel very comfortable sharing and uh that's okay because i'm not judging them i'm doing my best not to i mean of course, you know, my head will spin after some of these stories. But when, you, when you're when you telempathic, because that's also what's happening with this energy center opening up, you're receiving and sending, and you have to really get in touch with a core energy to not take on those stories. But it's also quite amazing to see the progress and some of the really rewarding work is watching someone get out of something so negative and so hurtful and it doesn't have to be like that certainly uh, sexuality doesn't have to be painful no mm -hmm. that's that's so true that's so true and, and 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 for yourself you promote well you know not promote but on your youtube channel which i've watched a little bit you know you talk about having an open relationship i know that you know um that's the energy you think it's moving more towards where people aren't just you know together as a couple that they can actually go off and you know still be in love with each other but 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 share with others yeah i remember growing up uh, going to school and hearing about you know learning about uh northern african cultures 
And <laughs> I've heard a story where women were carrying huge basins on their head in the evening to bring their husbands meals. And it's very organized how that worked. And I'm sure people are still practicing this. It's just with information age, we're learning Western cultures are learning that this is an option you can you can choose to get married in the church till death do us part or till for life social life life unite us or you can go off and have uh maybe five lovers maybe just one or maybe you're just curious and maybe you just want to talk about it and share it and say you know what this is really how i feel or just tell your husband and wife I really feel like this what about you I really love you and I know you love me so um, what do you think if we ch change the, our, our ancestral patterns and it's actually all right uh, th this could be this could be a basis for future tribal communities where it's more open and hopefully with with politics and the health industry and biology will be able to develop safe healthy consensual practices and that's what a lot of people are working on you know one, one thing i was always taught on this journey as well that women used to be the power the, they used to be the ones that were in charge you know and and things went a bit a, a bit wrong somewhere and mm -hmm. actually you know m men man you know um w was now the power leader in the in the sense and the woman wasn't and i've always thought how different the world would be if women in, in some respects were running a lot of the world yeah. you know and how important the feminine en energy is in a sense and we've kind of misused it oh i see yeah uh this is this is a a common complaint if you witness a circle of women sharing their pain there's a lot of emotional uh fluctuation happening and a lot of sadness and anger but <laughs> in a tribe setting the listening from the males is something that is so healing just the understanding and also mutually because men have also experienced horrific horrific torture from both sexes um so i, I when i'm talking about divine feminine i'm really talking about statistically my my experience all the women's stories and looking at the equal pay and all these sorts of things uh, cause people do want to debate about that, and especially spiritually, we're all one. It's not as genderless. Uh, but these are just earthly matters we have to also get real about in the spiritual community. Yeah, yeah totally. So we're going to get to channeling just a minute because it's quite hot, warm out here. But let me just ask you one final question as well. Maybe I'll, I'll ask you something else, but just there'll be more for you. But um, if I was to say to you, what does channeling mean to you? <laughs> it means fun. <laughs> yeah, I I love channeling. I feel good. I have some awesome uh, things that I see and feel. Like one time when I was channeling, I felt that I was made of air molecules. I, my phys it felt like my body was disintegrating made of air. I had this image of a crystalline city floating somewhere in outer space. And I, I know things. I understand in very complicated ideas. I, 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 I seem to learn more about psychology of humans. I have a newfound fascination in quantum mechanics, so I can appreciate mathematics, which is the language of the universe. And uh, I get to I get to I get to be in contact with ET. See, when you open up that that can, other entities become interested. So it's it's just like it's just like making a painting and let's say little fairy folk see oh you're making a painting of fairies hey guys come watch and imagine if we saw them and that this was normal and and spaceships were flying around and like Star Trek almost Star uh, yeah Star Trek we had we'd have uh, embassies communication embassies healing f facilities where people could use light healing I've had visions of a, of a new Earth where it was brighter and. It looked like uh, like Apple technologies, very sophisticated but sleek and simplified. Greenery, uh, things grow faster as with, you know the Travis Walton. It's it's abundance. I mean, you know that people make fun of Americans and say bigger is better, but uh, if you if you're not using hormones and fertilizer, imagine really great big flowers and plants that could feed feed the earth and clean water for everyone. 
this is also this is also uh, part of the information that comes in, and that's exciting. I'm excited about recycling, really. Absolutely. How about you? Oh no, I am as well. Do you yeah, recycle? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Do you like animals and if I fresh, had a, fresh if air? I, if I had a house, I would be recycling. Okay, yeah. if I have a house. Yeah, yeah. We're traveling 190 days on the road. Mm. I think, um, no, I don't. I've used the one bin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In the hotel. It's really just one bin. Yeah, it's crappy. The hotels have got to change as well. A lot of things have got to change. A lot, you know, in our lifetime, we will see some massive change, but we have to be that change we want to see. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. that and um i i think you're a great healer i think you're a healer in disguise do you know that i've come to learn that you are a healer um and you're a healer and maybe you're not even aware how deep that you do that sometimes it's not channeling is just one form of it we all channel but you've got some other abilities as well yeah you know yeah I like the I like this this channeling because I I understand there's many forms of channeling. Just when you get into the flow, you're probably working with other dimensions and and your guides. I, I, I so. like I'm very I'm very much about like proving it and proving myself, which is not not the best feeling to have <laughs> when you're always pressured like this. But well, it's fun to it is fun to do it, and I don't yeah. I, you know I, I don't want you to feel any pressure right now. But I think the pressure is you want to get it right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You you want to do your best, and and pr present yourself the best. And I think, I think sometimes you d with, with with everything you do, you to me you seem just to flow, and that's the best thing that you can do. You're very much in the flow. Very much. It is about that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I need to learn some some uh, a few things of you. What would you say is the most important message of your work? Besides being in the flow, because Ryan Council talks about that a lot. They say there's going to be more going with the flow than before. And besides believing in a planetary ascension possible. Hmm. <laughs> this is going to sound really corny, but I would say expansion and awareness. No, that don't sound corny. That sounds great. That sounds fantastic. Expansion and awareness. Thank you for that. And and your website is? com is my website. Okay, and your links to the YouTube channel will be on the website as well. Um, okay, well, we're going to do a bit of channeling. So thank you so much for joining us. And my first question is really a question for Krista. That what is your what is Krista's connection to you? Why is she bringing you through? Why are you working with her? <gasps> One moment. Hold on, please. Thank you. It is nice to communicate around council here. Oh, it is nice to communicate. Ready or not, we are here. Elohim are watching the communication, and we will talk about why we are accessing the vessel at this time. We have agreement with the channel. Are you aware that agreements can be made between other dimensional entities and physical beings? You would wonder, are we physical or non-physical? We are both. We are multidimensional. Multidimensional. So, um, if I was to try to come find you, which I can't do, and if I was to give, be given the coordinates of where you are, would I actually find you physically? You could find us. Our people are around your planet. Okay. And am I speaking to the soul part of that which is physical? So if there's a physical, if you're a physical being, am I actually, is that being right now stepping aside and letting this transmission come through? Or am I speaking to its soul aspect in a sense? 
we have a communications energies that are involved with soul activities what does this means technically <laughs> means that you are aligned to your soul and we are aligned to our souls yes we have souls is that your question that's one of the questions but am i sp so so right now you didn't you weren't just sitting around saying oh hey you know kev's going to contact me today i better just you know uh, just sit over here while while I let that come through. I'm speaking. I feel like I'm speaking to the soul aspect of the of the, of the entity that the if, if this entity's got a physical body, he, in his physical body, he's he's doing something else right now. He's not having this communication. We're having this communication with its higher self. Oh, us us in Orion Council are interested in earthly communication so we will communicate with your part of you that you consider non-physical yes and that is how we will access information for the transmission your non-physical part is giving us knowledge so you want to know how is it we are receiving knowledge yes yes is it a is it a telephone conversation or is it something else? What is it exactly? It sounds like you are wanting more knowledge about the quantum process of uh, channeling. <laughs> well, I, I I guess that, you know that that's kind of where I'm you know I was thinking of talking about. But I mean, if that's not something we, sh we we need to talk about right now that could be quite complicated we we will talk about it for a moment all right okay. so many people are interested in channeled messages and you are also involved with this work so we and uh, we have agreement with the vessel to observe your reality uh if you had a a, a formation of energy as Orion council does you would see that we can expand our minds in a way that is uh, practical for this uh, work if you were uh, understanding how the mind is is focused <laughs> you would see that there are many dimensions open and this is how we access you <laughs> some of you are curious <laughs> what dimension Orion council <laughs> it is truly about the wisdom but it is also about your heart center and when you receive other dimensional energies you are sensing them in these parts of yourself physically <laughs> you feel it but some of you are curious about soul and why is it that uh, my soul uh, feels uh, separate from my physicality we want you to know that your mind is the one that is accessing dimensions but your mind is also telling you what is happening so so you have to feel the knowledge and that is also will going to be explained on your planet. You have researchers finding out what all of this means uh, physically, uh, mentally. You have not yet discovered all the parts of your mind that you can access. If you did, your reality would be very different and channeling would be quite understandable. But uh, so many of you say, oh, right on, Orion Council. I know that you are uh, very uh, focused on the uh, energy. So be more specific with your terminology. Why are you talking about um, the mind? What is that meaning? <laughs> You're uh, having a great time. Yes, you enjoy this process. This is a part of your mind where you feel, I can sit down in this chair here and I can look around and breathe. And now I'm feeling quite good. Why is it I am enjoying this? The mind is asking. This is one part of your mind. Another part of your mind is having a multidimensional experience and it is saying, oh, there are so many entities around. Who will I communicate with? And you are having fun choosing. And Orion Council is saying, we are having fun choosing. So you are also wanting to know what does Orion Council represent because you are, in a sense, making the decision to communicate with us and we are making the decision to communicate with you. Why, the mind asks, is this happening right this moment? Is it possible that I could be in contact with other dimensional beings sitting here in this place where I do not see many other humans? Do you know that uh, you have other beings in your galaxy that are not humans? So get used to it. Ah, oh, we have a sense of humor as well. And we want you to know that you are capable of much more than you were taught to believe. This is important to remember. Once you practice these thoughts, your mind expands. That is our message. Thank you. Thank you, Orion Council. And and how many um, members of the Orion Council is there? Is this a large group? Yes, this is a large group. It is uh, many many of us are working together. 
one moment. We have five of us today. Thank you. Five of us. Thank you. And do you are you receiving information from levels above you? Are you do you channel to levels above you like we channel to you? Ah, uh, that is correct. You know that is correct. I do actually. Yes, I've been told that many times by my own channel. That's very true. Yes, and are you bringing information through sometimes? What when you when you channel to levels above you? What is the type of information you're looking for, or why do you do that? One moment. We have uh, agreements with other dimensional energies. If you were to see it from our perspective, it would be like a a, a, a call a call list, and we answer to specific calls. Who is calling? Who is calling Orion Council? God, humans, extraterrestrials. Hu humans are calling all the time. Yes, I bet they are. Uh, how many? Okay, so, but just going back to my question though, but but I suppose you have specific questions that sometimes that I th you're asking to levels above you that are helping you to uh, to grow as well. Oh, we will say that Creator is greater than Orion Council. Ah, right. Yes, absolutely. But is it also true that our progression is your progression? Your progression is our progression. Always. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. And you, you mentioned multidimensional reality as well. So is there other versions of me and Krista right now doing this in another multidimensional reality? You, you, would, you would like to hear that it is, yes? Uh, no, I, I'd like to hear your truth. <laughs> All right, we will tell you ours. If you could see uh, timelines, as you call them, you would say, oh, Orion Council, there are many movies to, to watch on the planet. Hmm, how do I know which one is real? Some of you are asking us this question on your planet Earth. Many humans are calling. We hear many discussions and they are saying, I want to know why am I connected with this personality here? When you are working through ascension process, you become aware of potential realities and you also have an idea about your own reality. If your potential reality is not unfolding as you thought it would, what do you do? Some of you say, Orion Council, save us all because it is devastating. My reality is not, not to my liking. And you're, you are wanting to have an extraterrestrial intervention. This is a common request. Hello, Orion Council, save us. Thanks. We get the comments and we, <laughs> we are humorous about it. <laughs> the potential uh, was there for something better. And you say, oh, that is so typical of you. <laughs> you channeled messages. Your channeled messages are only about love. <laughs> so we do create our reality then? Well, yes, we believe it to be correct. As, as you have said it, I am very much aware of what is going on. I knew this, I knew this was taking place. That is your, mm, your own consciousness reminding you of what is true. If you could see it from our perspective, there are many, many untruths, yes? And so, some would, would debate us and say, Orion Council, there's only one truth, that is, that is the Creator's love. And we say, many of you have forgotten that, and we have to tell you about it. That is part of our multidimensional channeling, yes? Do you understand? Our answer to your question is, we will channel Creator, as you are channeling Creator. So, so is this reality? I mean, look, to me, this reality seems very real, right? <laughs> um, but it's only as real from the eyes that I look out from and all the other senses that I have of my body to tell me it is. Yeah. Um, but some people say that when you cross over, that's even more real. So your reality, I mean, are, are you getting to experience any of the reality that we're having right now? Are you through Krista? If you could see it from our perspective, you would see the energy bodies expanding and pulsating. This is how we see you here. It is beautiful. It is our one. How we are very much enjoying what we are seeing here. 
Do right. you do you understand our communication? Have we answered your question? Thank you. You have, you have, you have. How many more questions am I allowed to ask? Oh, couple, a few more. Few yes. More. Okay, oh, that's nice to tell you. We love it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, two more, two more, two more. Um, where where is humanity heading to right now? What is the potential in the next fifty years for humanity? Well, we see it as a, a a great planet, and we feel that many of you agree with us. I am loving this planet, and that is where your thought begins to create the potential, and that is where your love begins to channel itself. And you say, Iran Council, love channeling itself? How is that? How is that possible? That is not science. Love isn't science, Orion. It is a feeling only. And if you could see it from our perspective with the energy pulsating, you'd say, oh, our love of science is expanding as well. Do you know that you are one, one personality at this time, but you have a sensitivity, so your concept of what is possible for your experience changes it changes yes it, it changes it changes it changes it is not the same for eternity your concept of what is happening what is here is different you in the past may have said i i was i was very much focused on going to a burning place down below if i did not pay my taxes ah many of you thought that and we say do you see yourself going to a burning place? No? Okay, let us continue to expand. It is not happening. It is not happening. No. No. And what, what do we have to do to, to, to try to expand? What, what, what's what one way forward for us to try to, you know, have to, to expand and become more than we are now? Is that the willingness to want to um, come more from love or, you know, realize what, that we're here to be of service as well? One reason you are here is to participate with other creators. And when you begin to play with the idea that you all can sense potentials and you can all manifest what it is you are wanting to create and you can all appreciate the energy body <laughs> and you can all uh, 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 merge consciousness as Orion Council does for communications, of this kind, you will have a different pattern in your <laughs> in your day-to-day -day activities. Or on council, that is so simple. It is like the asking coffee or tea this morning. And we say it is that simple to us. That is why we have humor about it. So many are afraid that, oh, they will read my mind and all of my thoughts. What is going to happen? What is going to happen? This is what people are thinking. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, what was what would be your most important message to the audience? Oh, we have a message. Yes, it is time to tell you our message for the audience. <laughs> if you could sense the planet in the way Orion Council is sensing the planet, it is uh, a great feeling of a uh, uh, rising of the the uh, emotions. The emotions uh, expand your concept of pattern finding. How Orion Council will I become better at pattern finding when I have a rising of my emotions? What are you talking about? <laughs> Do you see that your energy body has uh, multiple layers to it and those layers are accessible? Orion Council must be negative group accessing us. I am a sovereign being. We tell you, when sovereign beings access one another's <laughs> layers, <laughs> what happens? Can you tell us? We have an answer, but do you know what happens when sovereign beings access one another's energy bodies? No, what happens? Uh, well, you, you begin to feel differently. First of all, you are not feeling the same. You, you uh, might uh, be curious about uh, yourself. What? Brian, I am about the other person now. It is about our co-creation. What does this have to do with myself? Okay. Yes, we will continue to answer this question. 
we want you all to think about this. How how is it that I sense myself when combining multiple realities with another being? Because it's all from the same source. It's all the same consciousness. No? Well, I feel that. I feel it's the same conscious. Well, because it's only one experience, isn't it? I suppose there's only one in the room. Is it only one in the room? Is that your answer? We are on its camera, so make it good. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I don't know it precisely, but I would say that, 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 that there's, a, there's a, a portion of us all sharing the same consciousness. All right. So it is a collection of uh, consciousness. Yes, perhaps in a in a in a certain environment you'll have a, a certain amount of energies, and they are focusing on a sharing. And so, what happens next? Does the individual exist when it is unified with other beings? Yes. Okay. So when you are existing but unifying with other beings, how does it make you feel? Um, fulfilled. All right. So you are feeling fulfilled. Uh, ha, ha, ha. We find this a humorous answer. Ha. Ha, ha. That is a very good sense of humor that you are having here. What would, what would, be, on, what would be your answer to it? Well... Sometimes people on your planet <laughs> come together for a purpose and they leave the purpose and they say, guess what, other things to do, have to go now, see you later. And they say, boy, was that a great expansion of consciousness. Right, right. Um, I could refer. I could refer that to, to some people that I met recently. <laughs> um, all right, that is all right. Yes, yeah. it is all right. Yeah, you know, coming to Sedona. I'm, I'm saying it again. It's just been so incredibly challenging and so inc incredibly healing at the same time. Definitely, there's something in the vortex. <laughs> oh, we believe there are uh, uh, plenty energies in this location and you must uh, understand that although you are not seeing them or hearing them yeah. at this moment, they are still existing. So what is the value in knowing that there is a multidimensional reality? when there is so much happening on this planet. Our channel is concerned. Orion Council, I am very concerned about this and 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 that and that and that and that and this, this, this and that. So what next? Cannot even grasp the next step because there's too much to focus on. And what you can do about that is ask yourself, when I make up my mind, how am I going to feel about it? That is our answer to you. We feel we have answered many questions. We will yes. answer one more. Thank you. Okay. And just going to the multidimensional reality. Why is the, why is in this documentary the multidimensional reality coming through again and again? Why is that important to us right now? Are the other dimensions affecting this one and vice versa? All right. This is a great question. We feel many will benefit from your question. The same goes for oh, <laughs> the individual who is focused on third dimension, only third dimension. Yes, they, you must understand that when you are having a multi-dimensional experience, yeah. you tend to let go of other concepts. Those concepts are no longer important. Though those concepts are going away, Orion Council really, I I I thought that being negative was the uh, the main idea here to learn. This is a common question we see, and our channel is feeling quite guilty about it. Orion Council, I'm not negative enough because I it is normal to be <laughs> negative. It is mathematics, Orion Council. What is wrong with me? I am filled with love and joy and energy and I am I am expanding. I am having awareness, multidimensional experience. Or in council, what is going on? Where is my negativity now? And someone would say, Yes, I see, I see that negativity speaking through her now, yes. 
<laughs> if you could understand uh, how we are <laughs> perceiving you all at this time, you would see that there is a great potential for the changing of these concepts. <laughs> Around your earth, many beings are sending ideas to you and you are receiving them. Some of you remember and when you are waking up in the morning. Oh, I have a new idea. How did that happen? A miracle! I was sleeping. Ryan, was that the true reality? Who, where there are only ideas and joy? Well, we have experienced this. We will tell you that when you are in a non-physical form, you are having a very exciting experience. Some of you believe that physicality and non-physicality is the only option. And you have not looked in between the lines, as you say it. I have not read in between the lines. What does that really mean when it comes to energy, bodies and layers to who you are? Oh, now I remember that I have seen a ghost Orion Council one time. But you remembered that experience. And guess what? Because you had that experience, you forgot about something else. You forgot about a concept that was possibly negative at that time in your life. And some of you say, Orion Council, I should have focused on that negative concept. Why? Well, do you know that ascension is taking place here? And we believe that many of you will wonder why some things are leaving you. So ask yourselves what it is that you are wanting and how, how much joy do you feel when you are involved in these types of communications? One, one, more, one more question and we will complete the transmission of energy. Well, thank you for the final question and then we'll complete it. If I was to say to you, because you can see the future as well. I don't need to. This is not the question. If I, w I think you can see into potential futures, right? If I was to say to you the name, the International Spiritual News Network, what would you have to say to me about that? We see it as a unraveling of ha, 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 communications. Many different. Our communicators must learn how this uh, uh, planet is operating. And so is, as you are asking us this question, we are sensitive to the idea that you will lose concept of negativity and you will communicate about life and you will feel love when you are working in this way. This expands your energy bodies, opens you to multidimensional layers of who you are and creator is channeled through these layers. Hmm, other beings have similar experiences, other beings coming together for communications. And international means many, many groups. So, ready or not, you all see more. That is our answer to you. Thank you. Thank you, Orion Council. Much love. <laughs>